Welcome back to City Skylines, everybody. You guys were great. You left me some likes. You seem to have enjoyed the first episode, so I'm pumping out another one. If you want more, please keep those likes, keep those comments up, because I really do need these videos to reach out to people, for people to be able to see them in order for me to be able to make them. So do keep in mind it is really important. Uh, leave a like or a dislike, of course. Uh, leave a comment, uh, and I'll keep these videos up. Now, last we left off... <coughs> We left the city in a state of a bit of disarray. You can see a couple of deaths here and there. Um, a few places still have a lot of garbage. And of course our traffic situation looks dire. But it is not. All these things are easily um, easily fixed. We're, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a road from here all the way directly to here in order for the traffic to bypass this roundabout here. It's only to distribute traffic anyway. Um, I am going to add a couple of, of roads going uh, clockwise, so all the traffic is flowing counterclockwise in our city, uh, but I am going to add a few roads going clockwise in order for the population, let's say here, to be able to, uh, in a much timelier, uh, timelier fashion, reach the commercial or industrial districts. So I'm going to get fixing this city, and I'll come straight back. Okay, here are all the... Oh, dear lord, shut up, please, please die. Uh, here are a few of the changes I have made. Let's start with this roundabout. So as you can see, I've connected all, well, not all, but uh, a lot of the ones that were causing problems, the routes that were causing problems, I directly connected them. So you can see from here to there, from there to there. So uh, all the exits I, I could connect, for example, this one to, um, say, here, for example, if that was the route most of the traffic w was taking. But all in all, this uh, we took care of this congestion issue. Now, I have been... Uh, working hard on, on the services, upgrading the services. We now have decent fire coverage, or uh, health coverage, uh, should I say. Fire coverage is better too, as well as school coverage. And uh, one of the things that's helping is uh, me adding these roads going uh, in the opposite directions. I've added roads first in the opposite direction, but they had so little traffic because this is just... Let me give you an example here for this primary school right here, this elementary school. Uh, the range of this thing is really ridiculously low. It is absurd. Uh, I could only get a couple of streets. Same with the... Look at these two fire stations. They are so close together, and yet I can't spread them out m much more. Look at this. Look at this. It doesn't reach there. Although, if I had a way of the fi for the fire engines to reach um, that street, that entrance of, th of this street faster, it could cover all of this. So, let's try, actually, to better exemplify this. Let's grab a two-lane road here and actually pull it. Let's try not to demolish anything. Oh yeah, we're not going to demolish. There, and let's ch check the fire coverage now. See if it updates. Uh, might not, but essentially the the idea is that look. Uh, let's do just for uh, for example's sake. Let's do this. And now it is covered because the fire engines can go out and make this route. I might e even leave this here because there's no way I'll. I'll be able to to actually make some of this. Oh, achievement unlocked. Safe city. Awesome. Um, to cover this without building an entire fire station just for this piece of street. Uh, but you can see how the um, the lanes, the how the directions of the roads can affect this traffic. Now, uh, let, let's check the traffic chart. The, the traffic, although this looks bad, but it, it is periodical. And really, it's flowing quite uh, quite nicely. Oops, I paused there. It is flowing very nicely, the, that little roundabout there. Now, I still have to... I, I connected the industrial district here. Let's get out of this view. It is annoying and ugly. I connected the, this thing to here. And it worked out exactly as I foresee foresaw. Very little traffic. Mostly people coming from work. Uh, very little traffic. As well as here. Because there is really not much for people to do except to go to their places of work. And even that, since we are uh, such... We have such a... Um, a 
uh, determined and specific traffic flow, uh, there's not a lot of traffic going all the way, going around all the way. Oh, you can see I also added this. This intersection, you'll remember, was kind of jammed up. So, again, a direct route and then just these so uh, the excess traffic can flow. There are some cars that take that prefer taking this bottom route here instead of going up. And I've noticed those are the cars that turn left here. So they're, uh, they're biased in, to the left lane as of this moment right here. Uh, because they, uh, it would make more sense for them to go over the bridge and, uh, and go on, keep on trucking. But that doesn't happen and uh, uh, it's okay, it's manageable. Um, what else? So, uh, yeah, I've made some counters, or better said, some clockwise uh, streets, as you can see. And, again, like uh, like I imagined, very little traffic. So, it helped the traffic. It didn't bother it at all. Why? Because these are for the, the few trucks that want to go, say, from this place to here. Uh, let's, uh, let's grab this truck right here. Importing to Ice Cube Factory. Where where is the Ice Cube Factory? Oh, right here. See, th this is this guy came. Well, maybe this guy isn't the the best example. Well, let's check this one that stopped here. Importing to. Oh, they call this importing. You you. I don't know if you saw this guy, but he uh, he stopped here, loaded up 6% and is now importing stuff to the Ice Cube factory. But uh, th this is just part, uh, let's say half of the traffic flow uh, is within the city. So half of these guys are going to go around the, uh, these streets instead of having to go all the way around to get to their places. The other half, however, will probably have to address pretty soon because this will be very jammed up very soon. So I'm going to continue this until we get our crematoriums trapped uh, 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 not crematoriums, the incinerators, uh, which require only f mo 40, mo 40 more, excuse me, dear lord, uh, 40 more people. And actually, maybe we, we can do this on Camry here. Um, give me the, the marquee tool there. We might do this on Camry. L let's check. Uh, do we have water there? We do. Because these landfills are getting absurdly full, and I mean absurdly, absurdly, absurdly full. It's uh, uncanny. I already had to build another coal power plant. I can't wait for... Um, let's clear that up, because this lowers land value. Oh, there you go. Big town. Okay. Okay, we are rolling. So, level, f level 5, we unlock the metro. New policies, education boost, increases education by, uh, budget by 25%, prioritizes education over working for young adults. This could be interesting if we're low on um, office, uh, on commercial and industrial demand, so instead of them going to work, get them educated. Uh huh, new zones, high density residential, cool. Metro station, university, and incineration plant. This, right now, unfortunately, we're more excited about the incineration plant than the university. I am going to make some re to do some research about the, uh, the incineration plant, see how best to use it, and I'll come straight back. Okay, I've been doing some, uh, some research. And these incinerators here, they are very expensive. Look at this, uh, 1,440 a week. We are in the positive by, by 3,000 about. So that's a, about half our budget, but we really need this. Now, this thing, let's plop it down, let's say here. And this is the, re the residential area, I know, I know. Uh, however, we're, um, this will have for now a very decent coverage and let's actually put up some streets here we're in the straight tool we are let's put some streets uh what did i do there you go going like so and so all right two-way streets this will provide if if you if you see the new the new layout the new strategy with where where i'm staggering streets with two ways well actually this is just one way this is another one way okay this is a, this is a two way uh, there you go so uh, most of the streets run counterclockwise and some of them run uh, clockwise this is to uh, uh, 
I believe our street layout will will be more focused or uh, more dependent on our services. Uh, so t for our services to reach every uh, everywhere, uh, yeah. So uh, an incinerator here will be able to come not only this way but also this way, and that'll help clear everything up. Uh, so this thing will incinerate forty thousand tons per per week or. Is that 40 or 400? Let's check. Uh, hold on, let's unpause. 48,000 units per week, but we are producing 152, so we would need at least three of these, uh, or four, uh, let's say, in order to incinerate all the garbage we're producing. <sighs> so we're still gonna, gonna need some, some landfills. Uh, let's um, empty this multiple problems is set to empty its content and therefore not working okay but it's full anyway so start emptying I saw a garbage truck did I hold on relocating garbage to incineration plant there you go uh, so this guy is going to take everything to the incineration plant okay and I want to to solve this issue right here well now it's not an issue anymore I guess <laughs> well, that's perfect. Okay, I think it's time to buy a new plot, and I think I want to buy this one, so we can expand uh, and get some some cheap energy, because we don't have any strong winds, so let's do that. Actually, now that I think about it, we have unlocked the medium, the high residential, the high density residential, and high density commercial zones, so we don't really need um, a lot of space here for now. We do need more space for industry though. That has to sprawl out more and we have this highway connection here which we can use to take traffic out of this intersection and pull it directly into the, um, the industrial area. So I am going 3600 and what farming resources and forestry. Okay and we have forestry. Okay Let's grab this tile. Perfect. Okay, so before we can expand, let's um, let's solve some issues. Traffic here. Sometimes it uh, look at this stream of cars. Now, if these guys want to go to that roundabout, it'll start uh, backing up the traffic, which will back up all the way into there. So let's go with a one-way street here and try to cram it. Mm, uh, no, not like that uh from there yeah let's uh let's grab the squiggly the squiggly one from there all the way into that intersection right there so again we're taking traffic out of the, uh, unnecessary traffic out of this roundabout and directing it straight into there and all the traffic from here flows eh, eh, that way ah there you go there you go yeah now now they're using it Okay, so that's less traffic on that roundabout. Now, regarding this, we are, uh, well, now demand's picking back up, but I do want a two-way road. Let's go like that. This. Uh, this and this. Okay, and rezone that with commercial because it's going to dezone some places. There you go. Right there. Uh, oh, look at that beautiful traffic flow. Eventually, I'm, I'm going to have to upgrade this, uh, this street. Possibly, possibly. Okay, beautiful, beautiful traffic flow. Uh, uh, do we not have... Oh my god, look at the residential demand. Okay, time to zone quite a bit more residential. And plop a high school right there to cover this whole area here. Okay, now we are getting some abandonment issues and uh, I'll, I'll show you this, uh, how that turns out in a bit. Some abandonment issues. So I, I believe we have to... We're gonna, we're gonna want to upgrade the land value here and what I do want to do is actually upgrade it near close to the industrial thing let's say here 
and make everybody happy. Because the higher the land value in the industrial zone, the, um, the less polluting the, um, the industry will become. So uh, I want to go as high tech as possible. Okay, our commercial demand is picking back up. Our residential demand, <laughs> our latest zoning demands more jobs. So let's give them to them and uh, let's check out how the road layout here is. Uh, both of these streets, so both of these are going outward and this one in the middle is a two-lane uh, two street. Everything here is going to this side. This one is going to the opposite side. This, was, uh, this one is going to that side and this one's going to this side. Perfect. This is all right. Okay, okay. So let's extend all uh, 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 a little portion of this. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Right now, instead of extending only two, I am going to extend these things by three. Uh, yeah, to to give myself a bit more space uh, when, when it comes time to put highways in the middle and possibly rails, uh, all that jazz. Oh, and we're actually going to do one thing. Uh, these are two outward roads and one counterclockwise this is a two-lane road which prolongs this uh, little section here which allows the traffic to spread through so I am going to make another one uh, to connect all of this because as you can see this has no exit this is a dead end both of these uh, connect here so I am going to connect to here which is an ingoing road and then it can spread traffic through by via this road and uh, anyone else? This one too. This one's a two-lane. This one's a two-lane road, a two-way road. So let's uh, let's get that going. Let's go with the one-way road, connecting these two like this. Now I'm gonna take this slow and only zone this area right here. Uh, if we have more demand, look at that. The demand is already plummeting just by this little thing. Oh oh oh. We're getting some garbage issues, so you, how's your capacity, 95% and you, 88%, crap. Okay, you have to, you have to start filling back up. Let's, uh, let's check, yeah, filler, filler up, dude, come on, we can't have all this trash running around. And I think we have enough money for another incinerator, we're gonna need it. Yeah, uh, le let's grab it. Let's grab it, and possibly I want to, I want to keep it. Mm, let's say here. Well, might as well go as far as here. Okay, one more incinerator should help us out tremendously. Uh, let's check our gr garbage, garbage production and incinerator capacity. Uh, half. Less than half of the incinerator capacity of our whole production. Crap. Okay, we are booming. 8,000 inhabitants, 4,000 in the green, and a beautiful traffic flow. Let's check the chart. Oh, we're getting a bit of a slowdown here. Oh, from people wanting to go... Ah, I can fix this very easily. People are trying to use this road to merge onto that, so what, I, what I'm going to do is just make this a one-way and leave the rest as a two-way. So this section, this system allows us to segment traffic, uh, so people can move around like from here to here. They, they are allowed to using the two-way streets, but they, they're not going to be able to go, say, from here to, to go back to work here without us controlling where we want them to go through. So uh, this is working just right. And I am going to plop down one more incinerator. Right here, where the pollution doesn't affect everybody, because as you can see, there's a lot of garbage going on here. And we we ha we had to f to empty out that landfill there. This one is still at where where is the capacity? Eighty six percent. Eighty six percent. This one no more room. Okay, empty out, and you can stop emptying. 
Let's plop down one more incinerator. One more. Right here. It's gonna reach these guys. Uh, I don't like that at all. At all. Uh, I'm dezoning this this area right here. Yeah. Just like that. And maybe even this, because these, these people are gonna start getting sick. Residential demand is booming and we're all spread out here. Uh, except for this place, but that's alright and we don't really need to. Well, actually, let's, uh, let's do it. Oh, look at that. We're almost, we're almost burning all the garbage we produce. I'm plopping down one extra incinerator and that is going to leave us very close to the red line. But it will solve all our current issues, at least. And I am going to do so. Where are the incinerators? There's a couple of them there, one here and one here. Possibly another one here. I, th I believe this is going to happen right here. And this is very ugly, of course. I did this uh, as a... <laughs> I, I had to figure out the garbage situation. And I understand this is a really important issue in, uh, in any city in the world is garbage manipulation and garbage management. Well, I ran into a few more problems with the footage, but I figured out what's the problem. Whenever I save, there's a chance that the footage becomes kind of corrupted. Uh, so I didn't do much else uh, after the last cut. Uh, I did zone this uh, high-density residential here. You can see all our demand is spiking up. We're, we're getting some good land value here. We're starting to see some tall buildings. Uh, very, very cool. I really like this one. And there's another one. This thing, this little house with... Well, this isn't high-residential, of course. But it just looks like such a uh, an eco-friendly house. Uh, there's the high school. There's a... A few very neat buildings. Now, I did figure out some of the problems to this traffic flow here. And we're going to solve them and then call it a day. Uh, you can see, well, let's see here, this line of cars right here. Sometimes it becomes jammed up. There are a lot of cars here that uh, tend to actually come all the way here. After, so that afterwards they go up and through. So what I wanted to attempt is actually to connect this road, this highway connection here, directly here. So that instead of all the cars and trucks going into that street and then coming up, they could simply go directly into their uh, selected route. And crisis averted, I added this one way here to allow the traffic to flow into the commercial area. Ooh, there's an abandoned building here. Into the commercial area and then the industrial area. They can uh, go into those uh, districts from here, here, here or here. So now everything is flowing much more smoothly which is very important. We're getting some pretty cool buildings here. Hopefully we'll get even taller ones in the near future. Uh, we're incinerating all our garbage. Our education is going up. We still need a university. Uh, fire coverage is uh, reasonably solid. Uh, health coverage, oh, it's better than I thought it would be. We don't have any there or here. Uh, we might actually take the opportunity and plop one down here. It, it would raise the land value. And we're in the green by 3,000. So l l let's do that right now. Okay, awesome. Uh, all right, everybody. That's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please remember, leave a dislike, leave a like, leave a comment. But uh, tell me something. Are you enjoying? Are you not? What should I do? Give me a name for the city. Uh, really important. Give me some likes and I'll be able to, or dislikes or comments, and I'll be able to record another episode. So, in any case, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.